He said, you are the light of the world. When you meet people, they should lift up in their lives. Praise the Lord. That's what should happen. Anybody who meets you must have new energy, must have new hope for life. That's our calling. Just your mere presence should lift somebody's countenances. Somebody should be happy that you have come into their situation and now their situation will turn out for good. Not that the oh, world can bless us. We have something to bless the world. Praise the Lord. Yes, Father, you are worthy of adoration, you are worthy of our praise. The whole world belongs to you. Nothing exempt your rule, O oh Lord. Thank you for your love with which you have loved us. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for making our lives beautiful. Thank you, Father, for your spirit, for your word. We say, O oh Lord, our hearts and minds open to hear and receive from you. Thank you, Father. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Can you give your neighbor a kind smile? Say, I am here to shine. Tell your neighbor, I'm here to shine. I'm here to shine. I'm here to win in the name of Jesus. How many of you remember last Sunday you read, You are the face of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And it's, it's so beautiful. You know, some people with a um, fake face uh, of a personality, they become so famous, isn't it? They say, oh, this person looks like uh, this person, or this celebrity and that celebrity. And people are running after them. So when we say you are the face of Jesus Christ, we are not saying you are a photocopy or you are a duplicate. You are the original copy of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Say, I'm the original copy of Jesus Christ. Say it as if you mean it. Say, I'm the original copy of Jesus Christ. So, never think, oh, um, the Bible says so. The Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. So, I'm the original copy. It's, it's, it's a huge truth. It's a huge truth. If you live your life with this truth, that, oh, I am the original copy of Jesus Christ. I am the face of Jesus Christ. What your life will be. Never think you are here to be defeated or to struggle. Jesus never struggled. So you should not struggle. Tell your neighbor, don't struggle. Say, don't struggle. You are the original copy. You are the original copy. True certified copy. <laughs> If you are a notary and a lawyer, you will understand it better. Right? True certified copy. So don't see yourself as a photocopy. Because that's what people live their life based on. That's the reason they are sick. They are perplexed. They don't know what to do. Because they have never contemplated the truth. That they are the original copy of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Say, I am the original copy of Jesus Christ. I am the original copy of Jesus Christ. Now, you are like, have you ever thought how singers can make songs? And if you want to make one, it might be very difficult. But there are singers, there are lyrics writers who make thousands of songs a year. And you say, wow, how are they able to make it? First of all, First of all, they think themselves as a lyrics writer. The moment they start seeing them as lyrics writer, they start writing the lyrics. So the moment you start seeing yourself the true copy and the true representation of Jesus Christ, your life will be different. Praise the Lord. Let's go to another beautiful scripture, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Very wonderful scripture. He said, let your light so shine before men. Praise the Lord. Say, I'm in this world to shine. Say, I'm in this world to shine. 
that's that's your calling that's your calling that's your calling your calling is not to be in a some corner and be defeated and dejected and rejected no that's not the life god has called us to be in he said let your light so shine if you allow this line to take hold of you you can be a billionaire this line is huge let your light so shine so first of all oh i am here to shine i am here to shine praise the lord say i am here to shine don't think you are not here to shine but well, many don't think that way society did not tell us we can be something of importance how many times your parents said that you will shake the world how many times your friends said so how many people you meet in your life who said you can be a big superstar not many and if any praise the lord when i say not many if any you got but that's the truth about your life let your light so shine say i'm here to shine i'm here to shine so when life give you one punch you give it two punch praise the lord and you shine don't be boxed down by life you rise up and you shine praise the lord tell you neighbor shine shine you are not saying it the way i want it say shine there's your calling praise the lord your god's choice your god's choice don't think you're not you you're not god's choice you are a replacement sometimes people think they are replacement they are not god's choice you are god's choice whether you like it or not you are god's choice don't say oh, i'm only my husband's choice or my only my uh, brother's choice no you're god's choice god chose you and what the purpose he chose you for is to shine you are god's choice for shining praise the lord but you have to take this truth in if you don't think you are important nobody will think you are important if you don't think you are of some value nobody is going to think you are of some value you see a poor man and you know he is a poor man though it is not written on his forehead he is poor man why because inside he is thinking he is a poor man so the moment you come across a poor man you know he is a poor man and the moment you come across a rich man you know he is a rich man though you have not seen his car you have not seen his flat am i making sense hello 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 am i making sense do rich people put money on face how do you know them because they know they are rich this is their thoughts about themselves so what are your thoughts about you your thoughts about should be what god thinks about you you are here to shine praise the lord say i'm here to shine i'm here to shine are you getting my point so if life give you one punch you give two punch if they double down you double down praise the lord hallelujah remember bible says anybody who comes against you will be broken into pieces and if you fall upon them they should be grind to powder that should be your life don't accept anything less hallelujah so i'm here to shine i'm here to shine praise the lord it's a decision you have to make If you don't make that make that decision it will never happen. So first of all it's a decision you have to make. I'm here to shine because everything needed to shine has already been put inside you. Let's go to 5:14. Matthew 5:14. See ye are the light of the world praise the lord. Say I'm the light of the world. I'm the light of the world. Another billion dollar statement. I'm the light of the world praise the lord so I'm the light of the world I'm the light of the world I'm the light of the world the moment you say you are the light of the world you have come to a leadership see if this hall is completely dark though all of us are inside nobody can see us but the moment you put on the light we will be visible So when Bible says you are the light of the world not only you are here to shine you are make other people visible you become their leader you are there to grow them up what a calling is you are the light of the world 
Say, I am the light of the world. So never think world has something to give you. We have something to give to the world. Many times we have taken, we have been under pressure to live like them because we think oh, if we don't li live like them, we will not get anything from them. We don't have to get anything from them. We are their light. Don't be under pressure to live like them. Don't be under pressure to think like them. Never. We are their light. They need us. We don't need them. They need us. We are their light. They say, ye are the light of the world. Praise the Lord. So when you meet somebody, always think, what can I give to this man? How can I profit this man? Even if you are a businessman, that's what you think. How can, how can somebody be Somebody be profitable just because of my presence in their lives. Praise the Lord. Think of it. If somebody is on the road, anybody who knows me as a pastor, and he met with an accident and his leg is spinning, he's not able to get up. If I show up, he will be very happy. He say, Wow, now I can get up. What do you think? Because what happened? Light has come. Praise the Lord. The same thing should happen to you. When you meet people, they should lift up in their lives. Praise the Lord. That's what should happen. Anybody who meets you must have new energy, must have new hope for life. That's our calling. Just your mere presence should lift somebody's countenances. Somebody should be happy that you have come into their situation and now their situation will turn out for good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, I am the light of the world. Say, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. So don't expect world to give you anything. You have something to give to your world. Praise the Lord. And that's the mentality God wants us to have. Not that oh world can bless us. We have something to bless the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Okay, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 5. Wow, I like this. You see, you are all the children of light. Praise the Lord. Can you see this? And the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Say, I'm not of the night. Say it, I'm not of the night. I'm not of darkness. What does it mean? You say, I'm not of the darkness. So no dark thing can come out of me. I cannot be involved in dark works. That's what it means. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. You know, sickness will not come out of you. Praise the Lord. Your body will not experience sickness because you are not of darkness. Darkness has nothing in you. Say, darkness has nothing in me. Darkness has nothing in me. Devil has nothing in me. I'm of the day. I'm of the light. I'm of the day. I'm of the light. Darkness has nothing in me. No sickness can stay in me. That's the way you should be thinking. That's the way you should be talking. That's your calling. That's who you are. That's what Bible says. You say, ye are. Not will be, ye are. Say, I am. I am. Ye are all the children of light. You might not think that way about yourself. But you have to take this thought. You might be doing some things which is not right according to God. But you say, no God, I am the child of light. I refuse to do any wrong thing. You just release yourself from those wrong habits. Don't pray to God, God help me, God help me. No, no, no. It's a decision you have to make. It's a decision you have to make. That I am the child of light. I am not of night. I am not of darkness. And I will not do anything which is of night and which is of darkness. Just a decision. Just a decision. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Next. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, say I am of the day. 
He said, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So I'm appointed for salvation. I'm not appointed for wrath. Can you see this? It's a law. You're not appointed for decay. So I'm not appointed for decay. It's like an appointment in an office. You are appointed as a manager. You say, oh, I'm appointed as a manager. I'm not appointed as a peon. So you are appointed not for wrath, but for salvation. So you are not appointed for sickness. You are not appointed, uh, appointed for, for, for poverty, for struggles. That's not the appointment letter. Say, that's not in my appointment letter. Can you see your appointment letter? Say, my appointment is for salvation. Say, my appointment is for salvation. So not only you are saved, you have been given an appointment letter. You know appointment letter. That you are appointed as the general manager of this company. So Bible is saying you have been appointed for salvation. Praise the Lord. That is your appointment. That's how you should be functioning. You should be functioning in your capacity. This is the capacity at which you have been appointed. For salvation. Praise the Lord. Next. Who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Praise the Lord. Next. Wherefore, comfort yourself together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Praise the Lord. Can you see this? Comfort yourself together and edify one another. So this is what our calling again. Ye are the light of the world. We are here to edify one another. So one is not doing the right thing. You tell them, do the right thing. You are the cell leader and somebody is not the cell leader. You tell them, be a cell leader. You are a partner. Somebody is not a partner. You tell them, be a partner. You are the one who is praying with us and somebody is not praying with us. You tell them, pray with us. You comfort yourself together and you edify one another. That's your calling. So you have been appointed for salvation. Say, I'm appointed for salvation. Don't live a lesser life. Praise the Lord. Don't live a lesser life. It will be a big joke for people to know that they have been appointed for abundance and they always live in penury. It will be a joke for them. I know some of them are planning to ask God, God, why did you make me poor? Why did you allow me to suffer? Why did you make me sick? Why didn't I get healed? If you have all those questions, don't prepare them to ask. I'm already answering them. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's not your appointment. Perhaps you don't know it. Perhaps you have not made up your mind to live to that appointment. It's like, you know, a son of a rich man and father wants him to take over the company and the son is not ready to take over the company. Have you heard of it? It happens. Father is a multi-billionaire. He says, son, you come and take over my company. He says, no, father, I'm not interested. He doesn't want to enjoy the wealth of his father. The very same way some children of God, they don't want to enjoy what God has appointed them. for. They just want to struggle. They are sick. I say, how can you be sick? So this, I, when I became Christian, this was something I understood very well. I said, I am sick. How? If I cannot be pregnant as a man, how can I be sick as a Christian? That's how my mind works. I'm telling you. As impossible as it is for me to become pregnant, in my mind, the same way, it is as impossible for me to be sick. I cannot have a dream being pregnant. Can I have a dream as a man? Can, do you think I will have a dream ever? I cannot have a dream. A man cannot have a dream that in, even in dream he was pregnant. Even in my dream, I cannot be sick. Some people are sick in reality. I said, what? What did you meditate on? How can you be sick? How can you be sick? Just because symptoms are there, just because the doctor has said and you accepted it, how? Why? How? Why? Have you forgotten who you are? Why you are deceiving yourself? Well, some people, Pastor, I am sick. Oh, I am sick. I said, what? 
why did you accept it how did you come to this point of life you accepted it and you started living that life based on medicines where is your conviction in this bible praise the lord say i can never be sick say it as if you mean it say i can never be sick and i can never be sick praise the lord hallelujah say i can never be sick i can never be sick i'm edifying you am i right so we have to comfort yourself together and edify one another even as also ye do even as also ye do praise the lord so i can never be sick say it say i can never be sick i can never be sick let's go back chapter of yeah, verse 5 now let me take more in detail first as in 55 you see you are all the children of light and the children of the day praise the lord we are not of the night nor of darkness we are not is 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 a truth is a truth we are not neither we can be praise the lord so why sickness which is of darkness come and attach itself to me why if i am of the light how the things of darkness can fly on me it should not happen they cannot enter praise the lord hello 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 if you are living in a palace a secured palace and uh, an unknown person or enemy of the palace enters in what could have happened somebody from inside the palace would have allowed him am i right was a secured palace how the person from outside can enter since you are of the light how this thing of darkness sickness has entered you why did you allow it why did you allow it why did you give sickness a chance to come on your body praise the lord so i can never be sick so i can never be sick and you fight till even in your even in your blood it is floating you cannot be sick praise the lord i told you there was an experiment this person said so much one particular verse that when they tested his blood in his veins you could see the scripture floating the guy said it so much so much think of you praise the lord these things are real remember word became flesh am i right so what i am saying has spiritual significance if i say word can be seen floating in your blood is it impossible no word became flesh word became flesh so this word of healing and the healer himself you have received how can you be sick you just become angry with it you just refuse it vehemently perhaps you have not refused it vehemently praise the lord you have not slept it praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah are you getting my point so ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness next therefore let us not sleep as do others can you see this now we cannot live like them we cannot live like them we have to be more watchful we have to be more alert we are their light we have to give them direction not to be directed by them not to be deceived by them so when you are a watchman you are not watching for you you watch for others am i right what is the role of a watchman he is there to protect others he said therefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober be a leader 
be a leader we cannot be just be member in church not making an impact no 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 thousand times no that's not your calling praise the lord hallelujah next verse for they that sleep sleep in the night that they be drunken are drunken in the night so he's saying we are in the day we must work praise the lord this is day say this is day we are of the day we must work hard so don't say oh i came back from work i'm so tired i cannot do this i cannot do that oh, no, no, no. no 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 thousand times no we have to work harder this is the day time and we are of the day praise the lord devil is not taking any holiday am i right do you think devil goes for holiday hard one devil says oh today i'm taking a holiday from india going to switzerland oh today is my son's wedding i'm taking a holiday devil is never taking holiday he's always busy polluting the minds of people even when people are sleeping he is working many people get bad dreams it means devil is working and some of us oh pastor and i don't think i have time for this what you must be kidding you must be kidding you already gave him an upper hand you can't even compete with his work ethics his work ethics are better than your work ethics <laughs> devil has better work ethics than many of the christians devil is so passionate about destroying and christians are not passionate about saving as a devil is so passionate about even destroying you are you passionate about saving you are you working towards it are you working hard for your own salvation first for they that sleep sleep in the night and they that be drunk and are drunk in the night next but let us who are of the day can you see this again be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet the hope of salvation praise the lord she's talking about you first and then saving others ye are the light say i'm the light i'm the light i'm the light and you don't take holiday from it praise the lord okay hallelujah so it's a decision i want to show you proverbs chapter 16 verse 7 is when a man's way please the lord praise the lord can you see this is when a man's way say after me when a man's way please the lord please the lord he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him praise the lord and that's what we have always told you it's all about pleasing the lord It's not about pleasing your husband, your wife, your nephew, your niece, your mother, your father. No, they can never be pleased. Man is not pleased with God. How he will be pleased with you? Man is still asking God, "Give me this, give me this, give me this." If he was pleased, he would have not. He wouldn't have been asking. Man is still blaming God for his misfortune. This man who could not be pleased by God will be pleased by you. Stop the efforts. try to please this god who can be easily pleased praise the lord hallelujah when a man's ways say man's ways man's ways so what are your ways he say oh master oh no 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 oh, my wife doesn't like me my husband doesn't like me so what are your ways at home how do you live your life how do you live your life is it pleasing unto the lord If your life is pleasing unto the Lord even your enemies will be at peace with you that's what the scripture is That's the scripture if a man's way please the Lord So the question is whether your ways are pleasing to the Lord or not If he is pleased everybody else will be pleased praise the lord hallelujah tell your neighbor please the lord sometimes that is not the 
focus of people they want to please everybody except god so god will understand why god will understand let men understand and you please the lord hallelujah hallelujah he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him praise the lord hallelujah are you with me hello so if a man sways now let's see in tpt another beautiful thing shade that's you like it he said when the lord is pleased tell your neighbor again lord is pleased when the lord is pleased with the decisions you have made wow he activates grace <laughs> So what are the decisions you are making in your life? He said when the Lord is pleased with the decisions you have made, he activates grace. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Just by making the right decision, a grace is activated. Woo! I can be better from here to my house because during the way I can make a right decision. And I can unleash for myself a new grace and look at it what he says is when the lord is pleased with the decisions you have made he activates who activates who activates now if god activates who can stop it only god can you see the life you will be living can you see the life you will be living so when somebody is suffering and you think god is not doing anything for them ask them what are the decisions they have made yes we intercede but at the same time our intercession also has a limitation by the end of the time man has to make their own decision man is a free moral being nobody can be responsible for somebody's misfortune everybody is responsible for their own misfortune praise the lord am i making sense in the law in the eyes of the law everybody is responsible for their own action that's what the law says how it can be different from the bible everybody is responsible for their own actions so when the lord is pleased with the decisions wow say decisions so if you make a decision i will give 10 lakh god is pleased with that and he activates a grace praise the lord can you see this when you make that decision and god knows you are going to be on it you have a reputation with god that when you make a decision you stay on it <laughs> lord should have a reputation you should have a reputation with god that's what it means to prevail with god please the lord have a reputation with him he is a man. he he is a human not a human being. he 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 is a being he is not a thought am i right god is real tell your neighbor god is real he is not a thought am i right so you can have a relationship you can have a reputation before god when you say god tonight i will pray from this time to this time and lord knows that you will do that he will give you a grace when you say lord next time i will do this and do this which is pleasing unto him he gives you grace it's so easy don't make it complicated god gives you grace tell your neighbor god gives grace activates not only gives there is another dimension <laughs> activation is another dimension because you can have grace and you might not have activated it but not only god is not talking about god giving you grace he's saying activating on your behalf wow wow what a level of life he activates say activates it means a working grace tell your neighbor a working grace not sleeping grace some people have sleeping grace the grace is not activated when the lord is pleased with the decisions with the decisions you have made wow how much god honors us how easy it is to please the lord can you see this you have not taken any action just a decision <laughs> is it hard to please the lord huh is it hard look at it this lord is so humble even to your mother you 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 who never woke up by 8 you tell your mother tomorrow i will wake up by 8 he said let's see first this god will believe you praise the lord 
this God will just believe you. And some people say it is hard to please God. I said, this God, all things in Him are yes and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, when the Lord is pleased with the decisions he, you have made, He activates. And since He activates, nobody can stop it. So God activated it. Devil can't stop it. Praise the Lord. All you have to do is stay on your decision. Stay on your decision. Stay on the decision. It's so easy. When the Lord is pleased with the decision. Hallelujah. So even right now, you can activate new grace. Just by taking the right decision. The next Sunday I come, I come with 20 people. Do you know it is possible? It is possible. When the Lord is pleased with the decisions you have made. You make a decision and then you do what he tells you to do. To make sure that decision is completed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Decision. Tell your neighbor decision. So the question will be, what, what decision will you make? What decision will you make? Will you remember the decision means, you know what is the mean, uh, definition of decision? When you make a decision, you don't sleep unless you have done what you decided to do. That's what call a decision. It's not a wishful thinking. Decision means decisive. You don't have rest. And you, you have no pleasure in anything else. Because now you have decided this. You just want to do this. You don't even want to laugh. Because you want to conserve your energy. Because of the decisions you have made. You are focused. Your, your, your heart is not in anything anymore. Your heart goes with your decision now. 24-7 you are hooked up with that decision. Because you made that decision. You made that decision. So your heart has to go after it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Whatever you can do in your power, you do it. And then God is there to activate the grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So don't think you cannot do big things. You just have to take the right decision. Activate that grace in your life. Praise the Lord. Just use the power of five. Is it easy? You can teach anybody. Any poor person, even a beggar can you know, use this. <laughs> even beggar cannot say, I cannot do this. Hallelujah. Is it not exciting? Hallelujah. So take those right decisions, okay? Take those right decisions and activate this grace in your life. Praise the Lord. Lift up your holy hand, speak in tongues. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is a time to give your tithes, your offerings, your partnership. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we worship you and exalt you. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. None, none, none like you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father, for giving us the grace, wisdom and direction to bring it unto you according to your word. And as we have given according to your word, we receive Hundredfold blessing on it, O Lord. Good measure, press on, running over, shaking together. Is being given back to our bosom in the name of Jesus. Man and angel both. Nature, everything is giving back to our bosom. Thank you, Father. 
we invoke the power of blessing and multiplication upon it for the furtherance of the gospel and of the kingdom in jesus name amen praise the lord we trust that you have been blessed by today's broadcast if you are not yet born again we invite you to make jesus the lord of your life by saying this prayer mean it with all your heart and god will hear you oh lord god I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe God raised him from the dead, and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in his name, the name of Jesus, I receive remission of sins for my soul. I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you for giving me a new life. I am born again. I am a child of God now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you have just said this prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. Need to receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian. Please call us now or visit our website. God bless you. Let's stand up on our feet. Thank God, thank God, thank God for his love, for his mercies, for his grace. In Jesus name. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus name. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever in jesus name amen thank you very much god bless you bye bye